Watergate barriers can be joined together. This chapter shows how to join barriers using different size models. The principle is the same for all Watergates. Unroll and unfold the barriers and position them together so the rear section aligns. Fold over the top sections as shown to access the bottom Velcro. The base will be joined first. Now, as shown, fold open the joints around the rear of the barrier to expose and free the Velcro from the vinyl wrap. Do the same on both barriers. Now align the bottom blue loop velcro strip with the yellow huck velcro strip and press them together firmly to join them. Please note on previous models the velcro may be black. Start from the rear and work gradually to the front. A helper may be useful here. Make sure the strips are well aligned. Once this section is done, you must fold over the top yellow loop Velcro strip and work gradually to the front, pressing the Velcro together firmly when aligned. Replace the bottom section to its original position prior to unfolding it. This involves folding the vinyl back over. Ensure this is done correctly. Once complete, reposition the top section. The base is now joined. Next, align the top section Velcro strips and press the yellow loop strips over the blue hook section, working from the rear towards the front as before. Once complete, fold over the top blue Velcro and push together firmly. The barrier is now joined. Ensure the rear of the barriers align. The front part may not align as one may extend further than another if different size units are attached. Place ballast weights such as sandbags on the front portion that extends beyond the join where weights are not present. Sandbags should also be placed on all sections of the ground that does not have ballast weights or have a risk of infiltration due to uneven ground or the configuration. The demo barriers used in this video are a WL2030 and a WL2630. All Watergate models can be attached together, with the exception of the WL0630, which can only be joined to other WL0630 barriers. Do not join the barriers in moving water. If the temperature is below freezing, the water in the strips may freeze, making it impossible to join. It is recommended to join barriers when dry. We recommend practicing joining barriers in advance.